Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be solving a couple of OSINT challenges. These should be enough to get you started in OSINT and they should be pretty interesting. I actually love OSINT, it's kind of like a FBI, CIA kind of thing, search, and you're just using Google basically so it's not even hacking in some scenarios. It's a pretty useful thing to, to generally know, not just to know for hacking, but to just know how to move around the internet. So this is going to be pretty useful. So anyways, let's get started. I have a few challenges prepared right here. I have this first challenge, missing in action from Hack the Box. We have the description of the challenge and we have nothing else the creator is egotistical and we're going to keep that in mind because we're going to need that later so as you can see I didn't actually complete the challenge I have to submit the flag but I actually have prepared it so we have Roland Sanchez is from Birmingham UK and he's missing the family are convinced he was kidnapped on a business trip can you help so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna search Google for it so let's take a look let's copy Roland Sanchez and Birmingham we don't really need from so we're just gonna keep this and we can put a comma it doesn't really matter and now we're going to see a couple of results so as you can see right here this one has egotistical Egotistical bank. So this might be something that we're interested in because egotistical is the name of the creator, as you can see right here. So since the family was convinced he was kidnapped on a business trip, we're going to take a look at Twitter as well and anything we can find basically. So as you can see right here, it says holiday and it says Roland Sanchez. Now this could be any other Roland Sanchez, but we're going to take a look at that later as well. And also when you're doing uh, OSINT challenges, mostly there's going to be free websites. So Wix site is a free website. So maybe that's, you know, that's it. So anyways, right now we're going to take a look. What else can we find? We have the Birmingham, we have profile, blah, 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 it doesn't really matter, we're gonna open everything we can. And we have Foursquare, now this is an interesting thing, because Foursquare is a place where you can mark, uh, you know, I was here back then, and you can leave comments and stuff like that, as you can see. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at that too. This is just some sort of a write-up or something, so we're not gonna look into that, that would be kind of like spoiling it. So let's take a look at LinkedIn. So we have Roland Sanchez, and this is him, and it says Egotistical Bank, this seems fine. His position is Chief Information Security Officer, and we can't see the full profile because we have to join the LinkedIn, but I don't think we have to do that, so. Uh, I can take a look at Egotistical Bank, but I don't think it will let me, especially because I'm not logged in. Nothing here, okay. Nothing special. Okay, there we go. Actually, take a look at this. So, uh, this user has the same profile picture as this one. So, that's a good thing. We can actually use it. So, I'm going on a holiday. Uh, well, a business trip, but something else, blah, blah, blah. So, my blog will be down for now. In the meantime, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn. So, we have already seen the LinkedIn. And I think it's the same, yeah, it's the same URL. Should I get Twitter to post what it picks uh, while I'm on my travels, blah, blah, blah. If I open Twitter, I don't think it's going to work. It doesn't matter. It's just sh to share on Twitter. And we have 58 comments. Hack the planet. Somebody tried to uh, cross that script this. I don't know if we should be looking at the comments at all. I don't think anyone will post the flag, but you know. Okay, so there's nothing here. Okay, so I'm actually going to try to go to tour. Let's see. Canceled due to COVID-19. Let's see. Block, new app, website problems, and on holiday. So. So we've seen on holiday this is that one and we have the website problems so let's take a look at that one we're currently experiencing some problems stick with us this there's a dot here I actually want to view the page source see if we have anything um, interesting here actually you know what I'm just gonna do it like this because I feel like that's faster there doesn't seem to be anything here so okay so now I haven't found anything even this four square thing uh, okay there we go there we go. So the Foursquare thing, uh, the only thing I just entered is the comments from the Foursquare thing. And I've actually found the review from Roland Sanchez. Excellent place to go out for a coffee. And there we go. That seems to be the flag. Let's copy it and see if that's right. If I go back to my hack the box, <clears throat> submit the flag, paste, I don't know, difficulty, I don't know, easy. Submit the flag. Okay, flag accepted. There we go. So that's the first one. Let's solve another one. So this one is from Try Hack Me. It's a pretty cool one. It's called OSINT and it asks us to download uh, the task files. Okay, so if you take a look at the files, it does seem to be a picture. If I double click on it, it's just a Windows XP photo. So the first thing that I thought to myself is maybe there's a way I can actually find information about this picture. And it usually you can use like strings or something in Linux to find if there's any strings or you can use uh, something like EXIF tool. So EXIF tool and then the name of the picture. Windows XP JPEG and I press enter and as you can see I didn't find much information right here but I did find two interesting entries the first one is this one this is the copyright and the second one is this one now I'm gonna take a look at this one first because at first I thought that this is the location that we're looking for so the first question is what's the user's avatar of but one of the questions is what city is this person in so I took a look at the Google Maps for this one because I know these are coordinates and I just removed the DEG just like that just like that and pressed enter there we go so we found some location it seems to be an unusual location and I thought to myself maybe it's one of these so I tried to enter the names but as it turns out this is not what I'm looking for because this one is actually where the photo is taken now we're not looking for that so anyways I just ignore that 
Now let's go back to the picture. So the only thing that I have left is this one. So let's copy this. And I don't think we're going to need this anymore. So I can actually open the browser. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm just going to Google it. We have two results that are interesting. Three, this might be good. I find that this is an interesting thing, but I don't think it's going to be a part of the challenge. And we have this write up. So we're not going to touch that. And this is medium. So this is a write up. This seems to be a write up as well. So we're not going to touch that. Let's take a look at Twitter. And as you can see, he has a profile picture of a cat. So if I go right here and enter cat, that's the correct answer. So now the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure that we know what city is the person from so this right here is an interesting thing we have from my house I can get free Wi-Fi so we have BSS ID so one thing I want to do is I want to go to these this specific website okay so if I type in Wi-Fi find by BSS ID uh, I'm gonna actually get this website right here wireless network mapping and I actually have to make uh, an account right here in order to search it seems if I just put the BSS ID in it's not gonna work there you go so once you have logged in I'm actually gonna use the BSS ID that I found is view advanced search and I just put the BSS ID and I pressed query and there we go so we have the SSID which is the Unilever Wi-Fi so as you can see right here we put the Unilever Wi-Fi to find out the city you're just gonna copy the longitude and latitude you can just put it like that and go to Google Maps and if you go here and zoom out you're gonna notice that this is Trafalgar Square and this is London so we can just write that that's London so now we need the email address and we need the site that we found the email address on so actually right here we have some comments and stuff like that let's take a look yeah this is good there's nothing interesting here so if I take a look at the other results that we found we found this website right here I'm in New York right now so I will update site right away if I press on the user we're gonna see that there's no other posts if I go to home it's the same if I go to contact we actually have a contact field so there's nothing here we have two bloggers that like this but we're not gonna take a look at that so anyways the last thing we have left is github but before that let's take a look if we can type in New York anywhere so yeah we can right here so where was he gone on the holiday we saw that on the website and we have the uh, email so email is gonna be found on github and here it is right here so another thing that uh, is left is the password so I haven't found that anywhere but then I did some digging and I noticed that the site that I closed his website actually has uh, a hidden comment so if I take a look at home and this specific post and I go right here I can actually just slide and I can see already that there is a hidden comment. So or you can do this like this, inspect, and you can try to find stuff like this. And this is what I did the first time. So I just looked through everything. And I noticed that there's another P right here and it has the text color and it's hidden because the color is the same color. So if I put the color to be like red, I can actually see it easier. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go back to the challenge and I'm gonna paste it right here and there you go. Easy as that, we solved two of them. Okay, so now let's take a look at the third one. So the third one is a little bit more difficult. So this one that we have right here is we have the ID exposed. So now does is this like an ID, like the like the document or is it something else or is it like a username ID or something? So we're looking for Sarah and we're looking for her last location and where she left the message. We need to find out what this message is. We only have her email. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna Google her email and as you can see right here we have some write-ups so we don't want that so we're gonna exclude that and there we go uh, ID exposed this is another write-up uh, extract information from a Gmail account no no open source intelligence so this seems to be Google's user ID okay so this is kind of like a spoiler for us but it doesn't matter free Gmail tracking let's try that they're probably gonna have to log in so I'm just gonna ignore that or I'm gonna have to install that so and this doesn't seem to be something that could be the OSINT results so let's just go back to Google so after a little bit of research I realized that I can't find anything so what came to my mind is there's a trick that you can do so you can go to your Google Hangouts so for example I'm gonna go to this chat right here and if I load this and I copy her email I can actually go to network tab and when I copy it it's gonna try to find her but this doesn't work for every email so keep that in mind only some of them so it depends on the privacy settings of the user so we're gonna go to network right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way to the top I'm gonna go add a chat and I'm gonna put the person in so her email and we're gonna find her right there so I'm gonna click on her and it's gonna open like a chat with her or something like that so this doesn't really matter right now what matters is this one so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to response tab and you're gonna look through all of these and we're gonna take a look at what the results are all of those so this doesn't seem to be an ID because it has a minus It's definitely not an ID so if it didn't work just like it didn't work for me right now just go start a chat again just paste the email and as you can see the requests that pop out that's gonna be what you're looking for so you're gonna go to response and you're gonna take a look at what you have so you can add her we can actually take a look at everything that we have right here here so this badge execute has some kind of an error but it doesn't really matter so what we're looking for is something like this now I know for a fact that this is the ID so it's the first batch execute it's not the other ones so I'm gonna copy this is I have this one as well which is a little suspicious one this might be mine but I'm pretty sure that the first one was the ID
add her as a contact, inspect, and I can search for person. And I have a couple of results, but the first one already gives us enough. So what I have to do is I actually have to edit this HTML. But this isn't the ID, but this can give us the ID. So what I can do is I can go to Google API, and this is the Google People API. If I go right here, you're gonna see right here, this is the description of how it works, and use the Google APIs to get the ID. In order to verify it, we need to try to find some data on it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find something on Google IDs. I found this at our Medium article and it shows how you can using how you can find a lot of stuff using the ID. So for example, I can go to get.google.com slash album archive and then put the ID. If I do that, it's going to load the album archive. And as you can see, the URL is not found, which is fine. Uh, so we don't have that one, but we can try some other ones. And I'm not going to read this whole article right now, but I'm going to show you because I have done research before. So another thing you can do is if I open my notepad++ right here, you can actually use this one for the maps as well. So if I copy the maps right here and then copy the ID, it's going to show us some entries by the user called Flag Watcher. And if I take a look at the photos, there's no photos right here. But if I take a look at the reviews, there is some uh, reviews on the cathedral and stuff like that. Nothing important, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. And right here, we have a longer one. And there we go. We have found the comment that has the flag. So we're going to copy this and we're going to see if this is correct. So let's go back to our hacked box and let's copy the flag and let's create a challenge and let's submit the flag. And it says incorrect flag. So what I have to do is probably just remove the space. And there we go. Flag accepted. That's it. So now another thing that we can do is I wanted to just show you usually if you have an ID like this you can actually go ahead and try to find the user stuff by going like this the album archive and you can also use the maps and there was also a Google Drive thing but it didn't really work for me by using the ID as well but that really depends on the on a lot of accounts and it has to be public I think and stuff like that the Google Drive thing and also I don't really remember the URL that worked I've tried a couple of them that didn't really work for me on uh, a lot of OSINT challenges and stuff like that but, but maybe they will work for you. Uh, so let me know in the comments. So that's basically it for today. Thank you for the new subscribers. It means a lot to me. And thank you for watching and have a nice day.